Hi there. Welcome to the Sue Cloud Show for this Memorial Day show. Memorial Day, you know, a lot of people get into the, oh, it's not just barbecues and stuff. It isn't. It isn't just barbecues and an extra day off and whatever. There's a reason for it. Memorial Day is about people who had courage beyond even what they knew. People who went into the unknown for us in this country. People who were called by their country brothers, at least three to four of them, I'm thinking, were in World War II. And we, we think of Memorial Day as those who have died serving our country, and that is part of it, is to remember those who have gone before, who have served. And my uncle served, I believe, two in Europe to the Pacific. They all came back alive. But war does damage a person. It shortens their life in the long run sometimes, depending on their experiences. And just because someone didn't die in the war doesn't mean they shouldn't be honored on Memorial Day. So. I recall that my mother told me that she couldn't watch Hogan's Heroes when I was younger. I loved the show, but she couldn't watch it because one of her brothers was in Stalag 13. He had been captured by the Germans and was held in Stalag 13. She was the only sister and the rest were brothers. And I was lucky enough to know most of my uncles, but uh, one uh, of the uncles that made it to adulthood, a couple died in childbirth. They were not in childbirth, but as children. Of the uncles that got to adulthood, there was one I never met, and that was my Uncle Gail. My Uncle Ed served in the Pacific, I forget, which battle he was stuck in a foxhole for a horrendous amount of time, shelling, and after that he was never the same. He had this halting kind of speech, and the halting was not up here, it was at his voice box level. Between that and his smoking, that is what killed him, but I believe the halting speech started in that box hole. And uh, I would think about how my mom waited and back home for them to get home. They were all her younger brothers. See, she was the oldest. Her little brothers were off fighting wars. It's good to remember the soldiers who died there, the soldiers who fought and served and died later, the families of those soldiers that sacrificed so much as well, the people who are serving now and their families, alive and dead. I think Memorial Day should be not just remembering the dead, but remembering that there are living survivors of people who have served, who 
also sacrificed, who also contributed to this country by their sacrifice of their own husbands, brothers, sons, daughters, sisters, mothers, you know, all, the, all the women who were nurses in World War II and, and, and some who died there and came back or came back and died later. And to remember those living now, right now, and I know I don't agree with my country about having bases all over the world, having NORTHCOM and AFRICOM and ASIACOM and having bases all over the world. I don't agree with that. But I agree that the people who are serving on those bases, I owe a lot to. And so do you. So this Memorial Day weekend, Think about the soldiers, about the families of those soldiers who went through so much. The battles we fight right now aren't for our freedom, per se. I don't believe they are. I don't believe we should be fighting them. But that doesn't mean I don't support the soldiers that are there. I do. They still serve our country. Living or dead, we need to think about them this weekend. They've got guts. They've got more guts than they knew they had, really, a lot of them. And their families back home. Think about them. Their families, their kids, their parents, their sisters, brothers, even their friends who are waiting for them to come home. My, uh, cousin's son, I don't know if he's deployed right now, but I know that he was a while back in Iraq, and I don't know if he's home yet or not. But these people serve. When they're veterans, they deserve respect. They deserve to be medically cared for, mentally cared for. PTSD has to be addressed for them. There's not enough people to do that. Homeless vets, think about them this weekend. There are homeless veterans who served, who need us. There's a lot of people to think about this weekend. So don't forget them. They deserve our respect. They deserve to be remembered and prayed for, if you're into that. Keep in mind, even though there might be some people that do the wrong thing, most people are good people. The percentages will be the same no matter what country you go to. And when people serve like this, it's a whole special thing. I remember my cousin, my other cousin's son, Dan, who's in Korea now. He's, not, he's a helicopter pilot, and I hope he stays safe. I hope my other cousin's son is safe. I want them all to stay safe and come home. So let's think about them this weekend. What they really sacrifice do what they do, to man those ships, airplanes, battlefields. They may not agree with why they're there either, but they serve. It's damn special what they do. Please remember what they do and what they've done in the past. Have a great weekend, all. Thanks for listening.